Hello everybody, this is Kyle Verspor from the BT BOCES Flick team, and today I'm going to show you how to use Google Takeout to save all of your files from your school account so you can take them on and put on a personal device or personal account once you graduate. So here on my screen is my test student account. Um, this is just the Google Drive, and what you want to do is you want to open a new tab, and you want to type in takeout.google. Com. Now, if you're signed into your test account, it, or rather your uh, real account, it will take you right there and you'll see you're signed in, you can see your icon. Um, and it's a pretty simple process. I've done this before, so I can go and find my previous exports and go download those if I want. But if this is your first time, you're going to just scroll down and select which ones you want. I would suggest deselecting and then adding the ones you want, because you probably don't want the information from all 45 Google products. Um, so Google Drive, you're probably going to want other important ones. Again, you can click as many as you want. Google Photos, if you have any saved there, you may want to keep those memories. YouTube is probably a popular one if you're making uh, YouTube videos and putting those online. Again, you can select whichever ones you want. I just selected those three. This is just a demo. Uh, keep in mind, the more you select, that means the more data and files you will be downloading, so the longer it's going to take. Also, you're going to need a place to store this data. So if you have a personal Gmail, you get 15 gigs free. So this is going to count against that 15 once it's downloaded and uploaded to your uh, personal Gmail. If you have a computer at home and it has a hard drive, this will take up space. So you select the ones. You also want to look at the file formats. So here it's going to download as the original format or an MP4. Your history is going to be as an HTML. Um, let's go look at Drive. That's going to be a popular one. So multiple formats, important to note, even if it's a Google Doc, it's either going to be a Microsoft file or a PDF. That's because it's all just being downloaded as a file. It's not going to be cloud-based uh, right now. Same with a PowerPoint instead of a Google Slides. So you can do that. Um, advanced settings. Maybe you only want certain folders within your drive. I'm taking all of them. Advanced setting. Maybe you want this, the versions, um, info about the files, things like that. Anyway, once you've gone through all those settings and picked the ones you want, you would just go down and hit next step. And you're going to want to select how you want it. I suggest doing a download link because that's just one link that will pop up here and you can download it. If it goes to your drive, it will add to your current drive in a new folder. So you'd have to go back to your drive, uh, select that folder, and then download the zip. So I, I just do the link. You could, of course, use Dropbox if you have it there, OneDrive, things like that. Um, you probably only want to do this once since you're graduating soon. You could run a report every um, couple months. Or however, I suggest a zip and two gigabytes uh, will be the zip file. Um, you could go up, but the suggested is two, and that's when you're unzipping. It's more manageable to unzip two gigs than, uh, what was that, 50 gigs at a time. And then you just hit create export. Um, this will happen. And it's creating a copy of the four products. This may take a while. All right, so that only took a couple minutes. And you can see I've done this before. Um, but here's the first one. It was four products. Um, that's Google Drive, Keeps, and so on. Um, the time when it's available until. So you don't have much, just a week. And then a download link. So this was emailed to the uh, test account as well, but I like this because it's right here. I could just hit download, and then it checked that I was, it just made sure I was signed on, but you could see it here in the bottom left. It's downloading. All right, so once it's downloaded, you could just click that folder, and it will be in your downloads if you're on a PC. And you can browse inside, and you can see your drive is a folder, and the folders within drive are now folders. I also downloaded my YouTube stuff, so my history's in there, search box, all that data. All right, so that's how you'll save and take all your files away from your school account and add them to a personal account. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.